But you can switch the color of the crayons and markers for a different holiday. Like red and green for Christmas, red and blue for 4th of July, or green and white for, oh, what's the other holiday called? Oh yeah, St. Patrick's Day. And if you're setting it up for your pet's birthday, just ask your pet what their two favorite colors are. Mine's pink and, and red. So, what you will need is bits of notebook paper, markers or crayons and that's about it. So start out by scribbling on your bits of notebook paper in with the marker or crayon. does that, I will tell you other pa kinds of paper that you could use in place of the notebook paper. You could use construction paper if you don't have time to color the paper yourself, or if you wanted yours to look more professional. Or if you wanted it to have a fun design on it, you could use scrapbook paper. Or if you're making it for an old time movie you're gonna make, then you could even use newspaper. Cause like if the movie's gonna be black and white anyway, who cares about color? So yeah, there are so many different kinds of paper you could use to make this project special. You could even use old drawings that you did. Alright, our page of black is complete. Now we are going to scribble on another sheet with an orange marker. Here's a tip. If your markers are starting to dry out, mix them around in a cup of water to give them moisture again. After you stir the cup of water with the marker enough, it'll look like new again. your banner extra super special, take a sheet of paper, scribble on it in a light color like yellow, just try to get that all over the piece of paper, then along the lines of the notebook paper write over and over a saying you want. Like Happy Halloween, or Happy New Year's Eve, or Merry Christmas, or Happy Birthday, whatever you want. Or you 
could just write it all across the page once. And then that would add a super duper design. Okay, after you scribble on the pages, cut along the lines on the sheet of notebook paper. If you can still see them. If not, well then just guess about where they are. And again, I'm having Honor do it because it would just be crazy for me to try to do it. So just try to stay along the lines as best as you can. Make sure if you're using super duper sharp scissors, treat them with respect. Cause if you don't, they might you might find after you've done this project that you have four fingers instead of five. If you know what I mean. Yeah, this might take a while. There we go. Now that page is done. Now we just need to do this page. Don't forget to follow the lines. Oh, and if you just rip the pieces of paper off of a notepad, cut off the bad end and throw it away. Because that would make your paper chain look awful if you use that piece. Now, listen carefully. This is a very important step. Check. 
tape, one of either orange or black. Fold it in half. And then cut it on that middle line you made from your phone. Then set the other half somewhere other than the trash can. Now it takes a tiny piece of tape to make a circle out of your strip of paper. Now this might be difficult because it's going to be a very tiny circle. There we go. Then what you want to do is take a piece of the orange colored Loop it through, fold it in half, cut on the fold, then loop that through. Then tape it. Now keep doing this over and over until you run out of paper. Now if we were to keep on making the video, let's just say it would be Halloween by the time we would be done. So I'm going to end the video here and you'll just have to look for the paper chain in a future video. So, see you later.